Hello and welcome to Understanding Excel Formulas with ChatGPT. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna see how we can use ChatGPT to break down and understand formulas that we encounter in our workbooks. I think the fastest way to do this is just to head over to Excel. Exercise one. All right, in this exercise, we basically inherited this workbook and some Excel superstar um, before us created the workbook and they wrote this amazing formula, right? And so we're coming along and we're just doing our thing and then we encounter like this formula. And it's like, wait, I don't even know like what this does. I guess I can see that it's somehow taking the first name from this full name, but I don't really understand what functions are used, what the purpose of the functions are, what the arguments are, and I just don't understand it. So we can use ChatGPT to tell us exactly how this formula works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just Control C, copy that formula, and then I'm gonna head over to ChatGPT. Now, if you haven't used ChatGPT before, no problem, just use the link in the description below to head over to the ChatGPT website. So down in the prompt, I'm basically gonna say, please explain this Excel formula. And then I'm gonna paste it in, and then I'm gonna hit enter. All right, and so now we have the results. And basically it's saying this Excel formula extracts a portion of text from a cell. Specifically, it extracts the text that appears to the right of the first comma and space character in the cell. And then here's a breakdown. And it's going through each of the key functions within this formula and each of the arguments. So it talks about the right function, what it does. It talks about the argument C6. Then it talks about why it's using the length function and what that does. It's talking about the find function and how it finds the comma space. Space. And then it talks about how it uses the length and find functions to calculate the number of characters. And then it gives a summary of the results. So the end result of this formula is the text to the right of the first comma space in cell C6. What? I know, right? So that is pretty incredible. And I just love how it really goes through and explains each and every component of this formula. Now let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. So here, once again, we've inherited this formula, we're doing our thing, and we come to this workbook, and it looks like it's able to look down here for this product, and then it looks across for this option, and then it returns the price. So if we were to go like AB101, and we were to go with like small, it's somehow like looking this up in this two-dimensional matrix, right? So let me go ahead and undo those. All right, so what we wanna do is just understand this formula, like what, what is this formula doing? So we just simply do a control C copy, head back to chat GPT and say, please explain the following Excel formula. Control V paste, enter. All right, ChatGPT does its thing. This Excel formula uses the index and match functions to return a value from a table based on the specified criteria. And then here's the breakdown. It talks about what index does. It talks about the table range. It talks about match. It talks about the lookup value. It talks about the column. And it also understands that there's a header row. So the end result of this formula is the value in the table located in the row that matches the value in C6, the product column and in the column that matches the value in cell C7 in the header row. So it's understanding it's doing a two-dimensional lookup using index and match. So at the end of the day, when you encounter an Excel formula and you're not exactly sure how it works, one very efficient option for breaking it down and understanding it is using ChatGPT. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 